Hmm, let's see what Stanley's church is doing today. Are they really about to play Zeppelin? Certainly not. There's a lady who sure all that I think they're about to play Led Zeppelin. What she came they're really gonna do it. Don't don't do that. No. Oh, what is this trash that they're Oh Oh my goodness, make it stop. Oh, that's it hurt. What kind of dorky Christian homeschool is this? Oh, my head hurts so bad. Oh. Somebody please tell me this is an episode of The Twilight Zone. It sounds like they're killing farm animals. Oh my goodness gracious. So do y'all remember that thing we used to do called church? You, you remember that, that thing that used to happen years ago where people would uh, not go to work on Sunday and they would uh, put nice clothes on and they would go to a building that had maybe a steeple on it or something of some sort and they would uh, sing songs that were about Jesus and they would open up a Bible and they would preach about Jesus and uh, people who went to church kind of lived differently than everybody else. People who went to church were not uh, living the same riotous lifestyle of wickedness and, and uh, vice and debauchery like everybody else was. Do you remember the days when 1 Peter 2, 9, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light? Those were the good old days. And people who went to church were basically good people who were well known as the salt and light to the earth. And th those were the good old days, weren't they? Well, those days are probably over. <laughs> Because now church has been replaced with some sort of third-rate knockoff rock concert that is just trying to imitate the world in order to gain the approval of the world so that it can be a friend of the world, so that it can win the world, when the truth is that the church is becoming more worldly. And this cycle has been going on forever and ever and ever now, and now we literally have a church that is doing Led Zeppelin concerts? I mean, why don't we just go ahead and break out the Nicki Minaj while we're at it, too? <laughs> and then who cares? Why don't we just pass out the marijuana cigarettes and let everybody take a toke and just get stoned for Jesus? We may as well do that because that's the direction we're heading. And this whole thing of church that we used to have is really not even a thing anymore. Now, guys, I've been calling Andy Stanley's name for a while. Andy Stanley is an apostate. Andy Stanley is a false teacher. No question about it. You can believe whatever you want to. But as far as me, I'm going to call it like it is. That guy's a false teacher. Now, his daddy was a nice guy. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is not good. This is blasphemous is what it is. Now, if you don't know anything about Led Zeppelin, let me let me help you, okay? Robert Plant and all these guys were actually occultists. This is what they practiced. These people were like Satan-worshipping occultists. And their logos with the Zofo and all the things they put into their uh, albums, things like that, this was occultism. The song that they sang, Stairway to Heaven, about a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold, but she's buying a stairway to heaven. That is about the Tower of Babel. That is mystery religion. And if you have not seen Third Adam 2, please go watch Third Adam 2. This stuff is demonic in nature. It is the occult, and this is what Andy Stanley's church is openly singing. I mean, if I just got up in church and just said, you know, all right, we, we sang, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. We sang that, but now I'm going to change the word. Oh, how I love Satan. Oh, how I love Satan. Oh, how I love Satan. Okay, if I did that in church, most people who had sense would be offended by that. But they're not offended when you sing stuff like, you know, Stairway to Heaven, which is an openly occultic theme song in the house of God. Andy Stanley is not what you think he is. 
Andy Stanley is a bad dude. And side note for free, he's actually Lauren Daigle's pastor. But whatever. Years ago, I wrote a book, Calling Evil Good, The Line of Christian Rock and Roll. It's gone number one on Amazon a couple times in the contemporary Christian music section. Please allow me to read a section of this book to you. The problem with American Christianity is that they're trying to be a new creature, 2 Corinthians 5.17, while still loving their old sins, 2 Peter 1.9. They claim that they are a new man, Colossians 3.10, but have never put off the old man, Colossians 3.9. They claim to be the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, 1 Corinthians 5.8, but they are swollen with the old leaven of malice and wickedness, 1 Corinthians 5.8. These people claim that their old man is crucified with him, Romans 6.6, but their lives and music are so similar to the world that any jury would have a hard time declaring them guilty of being a Christian. Mm-hmm. This is the work of Satan. Blur the lines between right and wrong, sin and righteousness, heaven and hell, the world and the church. Blend everything in together so that no difference can be seen in the eyes of the lost heathen. If you were to speak to the average 20-year-old on the campus of any major university, they would tell you that there is no such thing as absolute truth. They believe this because many of them have never known a Christian that lived an obedient, holy, and separated life unto God. Satan laughs when a church tries to put the new wine of Christianity into the old bottle of rock and roll. He then rejoices rejoices when the bottles perish and there is no longer the wine of testimony and witness for Christ in a sinner's life. Satan loves it when a church takes the new cloth of Christianity and tries to sew it onto the old garment of rock and roll. He knows that the rent, tear, is made worse by doing so and that more people will be in hell by a misrepresentation of Christianity than by no representation of Christianity at all. Matthew 9.16 I called it years ago. It's happening. This is the work of Satan. Andy Stanley has gone the wrong way a long time ago. I'm telling you guys, this modernism, fundamentalism, and neo-evangelicalism is more relevant today than it ever has been before. And if you want to know more, go watch Third Adam, our entire series, Third Adam 1, 2, 3, and 3X. These documentaries will change your life. And uh, before you leave me an angry comment, before you let me know that I'm wrong and Andy Stanley's a good man, loves the Lord, go, go watch these documentaries and hear where I'm coming from. Don't be judgmental. Don't be, don't be mean-spirited. Hear me out because I do have a point. And I don't say these things out of malice or hate. I just say these things in love. But I want to tell you guys, listen, Christianity is not supposed to be some third-rate imitation of the world. The things that make the church different are the things that make the church necessary. And we cannot win the world by becoming some third-rate cheap knockoff imitation of the world because that's just not how any of this works. The church needs to be the church. And stop trying to be some sort of cool, hip, rad, you know, dope Jesus. Yo, yo, yo. That's not how this works. But other than that, I don't have an opinion. So, guys, join our channel. Hit the subscribe button below. And follow us on these other platforms right here. we got all those in the, in the top corner there. And hit the bell icon on our channel so you'll be among the first to watch our videos. And you will not want to miss any of this stuff. God bless you, friend. And we will see you guys very soon. Have a good day.